Hello, uh, in this video we will discuss about a very interesting mechanism of Windows, the serialized timer expiration that is documented from Windows internals and decided to use it and see in terms of latency if we can get a performance advantage. That I want to say is this specific trick can be combined with other tricks, um, but on this video we focus only on this registry. In order to see this registry, this mechanism, you need to have the Windows Internals book, 7th edition, part 2, and you need to go on page 162, and you can see the name of that value. The serialized timer expression, the path is the kernel's path, and you see some information. This chapter is the processor selection. Um, so, I will explain everything that you see here, so don't worry. But if you want to verify if it exists, by default, is that. Zero means it doesn't, uh, it's not enabled, and in value one is enabled. And we can see how we can see in the code level, the outline for this uh, presentation is what is the serial lifetime expiration, if it exists by default, we saw that already, and performance analysis in latency, and if we should, you, we use it. The backstory is when a timer is set, the system must decide which processor. When we say processor, I'm not saying about the CPU, we refer on this. The logical processors. As we see, we have uh, my CPU has X6 cores and logical processor 12. So this week, refer on my logical processor. So, in very simple, and the most of you know that already. By default, Windows decides to give all jobs of Windows and the drivers, execution, and so on, on this CPU, on the CPU 0, this. The logical processor 0, and the others doesn't do anything. So, by doing this tweak, it can help you on this part to spread the workload to all uh, processors in order to improve efficiency, performance, and so on. The system must decide which processor will handle it. If the timer is linked to a specific processor, it uses that one. If not, the system chooses an available processor. This is done to spread the load and improve performance, especially on servers with many tasks. However, on regular computers, the system often defaults to CPU 0. To manage all timers, especially when special sleep modes are used. This helps ensure proper timing even when the computer is in low power mode. So this option can help you to, as, we, as I said, to spread the whole workload. And probably, by default, this option is enabled on Windows servers. In normal Windows versions, it doesn't exist, which means it's disabled. However, in server editions, for example, in Windows Server 2025, by default, it exists with value 1. The registry. This is from Windows internals. This behavior is controlled by the kernel variable. And this is the variable that export this registry, which is initialized based on a registry setting whose value is different between a server and client installation. By modifying or creating the value, she realized this is the key, this is the path, and we see what is happening accordingly the value, enabling timers to be distributed among processors. Deleting this value or keeping it as zero allows the kernel to make the decision based on modern standby availability. The modern standby is a mechanism of Windows, a power safe mechanism that introduced on Windows uh, 8. So you can search on Microsoft Learn and learn more about modern standby. And this is from Windows Internals 7th edition part 2, page 162, to see officially this uh, text. The condition that I did my test, the hardware is this, the software. Windows 10, Enterprise, latest drivers, optimized Windows and BIOS, and the tools that I use, as always, WPT, CalFrameX, and FrameView. The game conditions, same as always, we have something new. So let's see the results in Fortnite latency. For Dark's kernel, that says things are better in serialized timer expiration 1. For Endos kernel, things are better by default. For WDF, things are better in serialized timer expiration 2. According to the results, uh, we could say things are the best with serialized timer expiration. 
according to tests and based on the results. The CPU precise giving us better results by default. The serial lifetime expiration looks uh, as some improvement, but serial lifetime expiration has zero improvement. So we see by default things are better. The most metrics are better by default. Four metrics are good in serial lifetime expiration one, and we have zero metrics with serial lifetime expiration two. In CS2, for Darex kernel, serial lifetime expiration is a good choice. For Endos kernel, by default, things are better, but are very close with the serialized timer expiration 1. WTF is better with serialized timer expiration 1. So, according to the results, we see the Darex kernel is better with serialized timer expiration 1, but the other drivers, as you see, the Endos kernel is better by default, the WDF is better with serialized timer expiration too, so it depends which driver you want to improve. I guess if you play games you care on you care more about the direct kernel. In CPU precise, we see improvements in serialized timer expiration value 1 and 2. So here we have the results. Serialized timer expiration 1 and 2 are equal and by the default has two metrics that get improvement. Actually, they didn't get any improvement. By default, was better. So the conclusion is likely either you should keep this option to default, either set serialized time expression to value one. As we saw on the most tests, on the most results, we see things are better in serialized time expression one and by default. But first of all, you need to consider which driver you care you want to improve. And second, you need to see, for instance, the CPU precise, and decide also which value of the serial last time expression you want to set. It's up to you. My opinion is probably if you care about the direct kernel improvement, you may care to set the serial last time expression one. But if you care for other things, maybe you should try probably serialized timer expiration too. Finally, I must say that we need to do more tests and maybe do some more combinations. For instance, it depends the operating system that you apply this option. It depends other tricks that you have applied that are likely connected with serialized timer expiration. So my opinion is do tests, do experiments and probably you will find the gold uh, combination that you will apply and you may see some improvement. So that's about uh, this tweak. I hope you learned something about uh, this mechanism. Let me know in comments what you believe about this video, what you believe about the options. If you will apply this option or not, tell me your thoughts, your results, anything you want to share with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you soon.